in behalf of the Cebu Provincial Anti-Drug Abuse Commission, I would like to welcome everyone of you this morning to our awarding and recognition ceremonies to our different LGUs for the Just Say No program. This program certainly would not have been possible without the consistent advocacy, leadership, and commitment of our leaders. Governor Hilario Davide and Vice Governor Agnes Magpale, the Provincial Board, and the support of the officers and staff of the province and the various agencies, especially the PNP, the PIDEA, the DILG, and the Department of Education. The biggest problem that we are now facing is the drug menace. And I say this without fear of any violent reaction. We are told, what, a big 90% of crime committed is due to drugs. For us to uh, level up the drive against illegal drugs, what is required is not just to upgrade the quality of law enforcement, but more importantly, we need to advance the participation of our communities. Without strong public participation, and I always emphasize this, we will not go far. This is the challenge for all of us. And now our first place, our best performing police station municipal level. They will receive a trophy and a cash prize of 200,000 pesos. And this is Liluan! Receive the award is Police Leader Inspector Gabriel Morpos. Congratulations Liluan for best performing police station municipal level. In our first place, our best performing police station is Danao City. The city of Hortis Police Superintendent Elmer Lim. Danao City will receive a trophy and a cash prize of 200,000 pesos. And our first placer will receive a trophy and a cash prize of 200,000 pesos. And our best performing municipality is the Lulan. Receive the award is Mayor Luke Frasco. Congratulations once again to our best performing municipality, the Luan. In first place, we'll receive a trophy and a cash prize of 200,000 pesos. And our best performing city is Danao City. To receive the award is Mr. Adano Roble and Honorable Jojo Roble.